sesame seeds, a tiny little seed from a flowering plant that is native to India and Africa, which has been described as a powerhouse of nutrient that is gaining more and more popularity in the West nowadays. So, what is it all about? Sesame seeds has a global market value over 5,000 million US dollar in 2022, with approximately 6.7 million tons produced. Other than that, sesame oil extracted from these seeds is one of the world's oldest known oil seed crops with a cultivation history exceeding 3,000 years. Now, despite its familiar name, in the US, we probably only see sesame seeds on top of our burger and breads. So who are consuming all these sesame seeds in the world, and why are they doing so? In today's episode, we're going to talk all things sesame. We'll cover the basic of sesame seeds, some fun historical trivia, and their nutritional profile and known health benefit, which is pretty mind-blowing in my opinion considering how small is the product. We'll also discuss the difference between the two most common seam color of sesame seeds, three most popular sesame products available in the market, and how to incorporate them into your recipes. Having this knowledge will help you make an informed decision about what type of sesame seeds product you want to include in your diet. So now, without further ado, let's get straight into it, shall we? Hey new friend, this is Erica right here. I'm a tiny citizen currently living in America. Cooking and traveling are my passion, so I'm here to share with you my favorite Asian recipes. I make kitchen trivia and interesting ingredient explain, as well as some simple recipe that I love on this channel. So if that interests you, please subscribe and keep watching. Sesame seeds is often referred to as a survival crop due to its ability to grow in areas where other crops cannot, such as the edge of the desert. It can withstand drought condition and high heat, and it is not sensitive to rainfall at all. This means that it can grow in the residual soil moisture after monsoons or even during excessive rainfall. The ancient Egyptian document Abers Papyrus listed sesame seeds as a medical plant, and they were even found among the burial objects of Tutankhamun's tomb. Legend stated that Cleopatra VII, Philopator, known as one of the world's most beautiful women, includes sesame in her beauty diet and used sesame oil to moisturize her skin. And today, sesame seeds are frequently used in dishes across Asia, Southeast Asia, India, the Middle East, Mediterranean region, and parts of Africa. And Tanzania and China are currently vying for the title of the largest consumer of sesame seeds in the world, collectively accounting for about 40% of global consumption. Sesame seeds are small but packed with nutrients, and it has been used in the folk medicine for thousands of years. Sesame seeds contain 19% protein and over 50% of unsaturated fatty acid, including mainly linoleic and oleic acid, which are both essential fatty acids that our body needs daily. These two unsaturated fatty acids can help lower the bad LDL cholesterol level, potentially prevent you from getting heart disease or cancer. As a rich source of magnesium, sesame seed can also help lowering blood pressure. And its husk provides significant amount of fiber and iron with its small body, but they might be a little bit hard to digest. We'll talk more about that later. Vitamin B1 and 6 in sesame seeds are crucial for proper cell and nervous system functioning, while B6 along with selenium, iron, copper, and zinc that all exist in sesame seeds are essential micronutrients that support thyroid health. Lastly, recent studies suggest phytoestrogen in sesame seeds, similar to the hormone estrogen, may help reduce the risk of breast cancer during menopause. However, additional research is needed to confirm this finding. And not to mention that sesame powder and peanut powder actually taste very similar, so if you're allergic to peanuts, you can actually replace it with sesame seeds. There are two different colors of sesame seeds that's commonly seen in the market, which are black ones and white ones. White sesame seeds are widely cultivated and distributed globally with the highest production value. It has a sweet taste, a mild aroma, and very high oil content, making it a perfect choice to produce sesame oil. 
Now, if you ever visit an Asian supermarket and see the sesame aisle, you might see that besides white and black, there's also golden or yellow sesame seeds. Even though there are actually yellow color sesame seeds that is produced in Middle East and along the Mediterranean coast, most golden sesame seed we see in the market is actually roasted unhauled white sesame seeds, which has a distinct rich aroma of nuttiness and a richer flavor. And yes, that's why a lot of recipe will tell you to roast your white sesame seeds before using in your recipes. Now, black sesame seeds, on the other hand, are most popular in Asian cuisines, with the majority of its production concentrated in Southeast Asia. It has a strong aroma and a lighter aftertaste. Its hull is thicker than that of white sesame seeds, and it contains more fiber and mineral, but has a lower oil content. Well, even if you're not very familiar with Asian cuisine, you might have seen this black sesame seed on top of Japanese white rice. But other than that, black sesame paste is also very often used in sweet Asian desserts. Now this, 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 and this are all product and dishes that include sesame seeds in them. Although you might not see actual sesame seeds in them, that's because sesame seeds is often used in three different forms in the culinary world. The seeds themselves, a paste often referred to as tahini, and an oil known as sesame oil. Let's talk about them one by one. Of course, first we're gonna talk about sesame seeds themselves. Whole sesame seeds can be sprinkled on salad, bread, stir fry, or well, anything really for added flavor and texture. Roasted sesame seeds often garnish many beloved banchan, aka Korean side dishes. Regardless of the seed color, there are two types of seeds that you'll see in the market, hulled and unhulled sesame seed. As we mentioned earlier, sesame husk contains dietary fiber and numerous of other nutrients. Although it is edible, its hard consistency can make it difficult to digest, which means it is easier for our body to absorb the nutrient if the sesame seeds is husk or grind it into powder. This is why you see Japanese grind their sesame seeds in the mortar before dipping their katsu in. However, don't grind it for too long because this can transfer your sesame powder into another form that we're talking about next. Sesame paste, or tahini, is basically a liquid form of sesame seeds. Because sesame seeds contains over 50% of oil, which can be easily released by grinding the seeds for a short period of time, resulting in the thick paste. Sesame paste is way easier for your body to digest and has a very similar taste to peanut butter. In China, it is particularly favored in dry noodles and hot pot dipping sauce. Any color sesame seeds can be made into sesame paste. However, in Asia, black sesame seeds, usually sweetened, are very commonly seen in sweet desserts, while white sesame paste are more commonly to see in savory dishes. Homemade sesame paste should be stored in a sterilized airtight container and can last up to six months in the fridge. And finally, come to my favorite, sesame oil. Extracted from the sesame seeds with all dietary fiber removed, sesame oil come in two different versions just like most other oil, cold press and refined. And in the cooking oil industry, cold press oil are generally healthier than refined ones because it does not go through a heating process. Sesame oil has a very special aroma, making it unique among all cooking oil. However, it has a lower smoke point compared to others, which make it best used in combination with other oil while heating or eaten raw. Not only because overheating sesame oil can make it taste bitter, loss its nutritional benefit, and just like all other overheated cooking oil, Oil, create polar pound pound polar compound that might be bad for your health. I made a video talking all about cooking oil before. I'll leave the link at the end of the video for you if you're interested. Now, while most sesame oil are extracted from white sesame seeds because it has a higher oil content, sometimes you can also find black sesame seeds oil in an Asian grocery store with an even stronger aroma than the white ones. In Taiwan and China, we love using sesame oil in soup to heat up our body in the winter. While Japanese and Korean also love to use sesame oil to enhance the flavor of their dish, while Korean in particular love to use sesame oil to marinate their meats and kimchi, as well as the aroma source for their famous dish, kimbap. Whew, I know there's a lot to unpack here, so here's a little conclusion for you. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and if you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And here's a cooking or explain video that we talked about earlier, as well as a black sesame paste flavor rice ball that you can check it out later. See you next time. Bye.